Welcome guys to another series of Tech Unboxing. In today's Tech Unboxing, we're going to take a look at the QGEEM USB-C 5 port multifunctional converter. So all devices which have a USB-C port can be using this device. I happen to have a Surface Pro 7 and I have only one USB-C port. I have a USB-A port, which is good. But then I have multiple devices. For example, I have a Logitech mouse, a keyboard, a, a SD card adapter which I always like to plug it inside my Surface Pro 7 for accessing all my photos and files. I also want to have a second monitor which will help me doing my work. But then I don't have a hub. So I happen to look this part on Amazon and then I'm not looking in the market for a very high priced product. I'm also looking for a cost effective product. So when I say cost effective, it's probably in the mid range. I don't want it too low. The quality gets bad, too high. And I want to spend too much of money. So I look on Amazon get this product over here so in this video we're going to start the unboxing of this product over here and then let's check the cool features of this product and then let's test the product by connecting it to a Surface Pro 7 and find out if all the functionalities of this device actually work so let's start unboxing it mind the unboxing guys I'm a bit hasty here and removing the product and checking the cool features out receiving the product and it's black color is a really cool it's I love the products color it has a really good finish to the product and then we're going to remove the casing let's open it up there we go so opening the package really fancy packing we have an instruction manual I'm going to be the instruction manual for you in this video let's open the USB-C port cool it has a USB 2.0 and then it has a USB 3.0 it has an SD card adapter it has a TF card and it also has an HDMI perfect just the device which I'm looking over here and that's the TF card adapter which you can just put your SD card without the SD card adapter that's your light LED indicator which is going to blink and blink meaning that it's going to be having a constant LED when you connect it to power indicating that the USB-C is in action and it's connected to a Surface Pro 7 or any other device which you're trying to use over there okay so now in the second part of the video what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be doing a test to see where this product is actually working so let's find out whether the product heats up or something like that. So right now we can see over here in the bottom that my LED has a constant glow on it, which means that the USB-C is actually connected to power and it means the device is in action. So that's pretty cool. That's a cool feature just to give over there, which means that my USB-C hub is in action. It's connected, it's powered on it has no problem in the connection means that your USB port in your Surface Pro 7 is good and it has no malfunction now I'm going to start connecting multiple devices the first device I'm going to connect is a HDMI cable let's see if my Surface Pro 7 is able to mirror its monitor and there we go yes so I'm able to mirror my Surface Pro 7 screen onto an external monitor using the USB-C hub as I connect my HDMI device pretty cool I don't see a lag or anything yeah and then now let's start connecting different devices I'm going to connect my Logitech wireless mouse inside the USB 2.0 port and find out whether it's doing any good so there we go I get my Bluetooth receiver of the mouse then I'm not too keen on putting in a USB 3.0 port putting it inside a 2.0 port and then let's see if the mouse is functional mouse is functional and really good there we go that's good that's good the mouse is working right now now let's take my micro SD card adapter and then I'm gonna plug it inside my adapter slot there we go it opens up cool it's able to access all the files impressive now let's connect a USB 3.0 flash drive and let's find out if it's able to access all the files opening it 
identifying it. And yeah, there we go. So it still accesses all of my files. It's pretty good, decent amount of quality. Okay, so the tiny slot which you see over here is your SD card reader, which means that you can just plug off the SD card from the micro SD adapter, put it inside, and still access the file. So if you don't have an SD card adapter, you can just pop the card off the adapter, put the card inside the TF card slot, and it will still work. Well, anyways, guys, you know what? I'm going to remove the card, and I'm going to show you how it actually works. Also, all right. So I'm going to take a little bit of precaution when I'm putting my SD card inside the adapter. I don't want to break it. I'm plugging inside. And there we go. Instantaneously, I'm able to see a notification on my Surface Pro 7 that is I'm OK. So right now, we've seen that the USB-C hub is able to connect different types of devices to my Surface Pro 7. Pretty cool. But then we're going to see if the USB-C hub is able to maintain the same transfer speed between the flash drive and my computer compared to if I'm connecting my flash drive directly to my computer. So we're going to see if there's any kind of lag or something like that. So on the screen, if you see my read speed and my write speed, what I mean is that I'm going to be having an 8 GB file present inside my memory card and also my flash drive. So the plan here is that I'm going to be copying this file from my flash drive to my computer in two different mechanisms. I'm going to be using direct transfer and then I'm going to be using my USB-C hub and then I'm going to transfer this file. So when I'm say read speed, it means that I'm just going to copy the file from my flash drive to my computer. The write speed is when I'm going to transfer the file from my computer back to the flash drive. That's the same thing, all right? So I do the read speed test using direct transfer using the flash drive. Read speed is about 106.48 MB per second. The write speed on the same side is about 27.06 MB per second. Good. And then I'm going to be using my USB-C hub. The read speed, I would say a little bit variation goes to 105.10 MB per second, but the write speed is maintained at the same 27.06 MB per second. And then we have the memory card. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did with my flash drive. The read speed, when I do a direct transfer to my computer, it's about 89 MB per second. The write speed is about 80 MB per second. But then note for the USB-C hub is that the read speed significantly decreases to 22.29 MB per second, but the write speed is about 28.19 MB per second. So you do see like it's about like a four time reduction in my speed when I'm using my USB-C hub. So what is going to be our final verdict over here? The final verdict is that by this USB-C hub, if you want to be using this for college work, work purposes, or if you just want to use this in your house, pretty cool. But then I would not be buying it if I'm a photographer, or if I'm doing vlogging, or if I'm a video creator, where I need to transfer files between my camera and my computer very frequently, and then I see my write speed and read speed is extremely slow. So for an 8 GB file, this is the speed. Imagine when you're transferring 20 GB of data from your memory card onto your computer. So it is not going to be so useful. So pros of this device, it's pocket size, it's cheap, but then it has a poor read or write speed. So if I'm going to be using it for college, really good. For work, pretty good. For my home use, yes, I would do it. But then if I am a photographer or if I'm blogging or if I'm a video creator or if I'm a YouTuber where I just keep on transferring data between my camera and my computer, I would not be using this device.